Hey, hey, what's up? This is Carl. Oh my goodness, I feel so awesome. I feel so awesome. Although I'm feeling a little bit exhausted. I mean, shouldn't say a little bit, but just a little bit tired, I guess. Exhausted, not quite. Yeah, I feel all right. I feel really awesome. I just finished my run, man. I did eighteen point nine nine kilometers. Today is February eighteenth, twenty twenty three. It's not even six yet. Yeah, five fifty four. Oh my goodness! Just do the math, man. I spent about one hour and fifteen minutes just on running. Yeah, so do the math. Yeah. I got up super early this morning. I just woke up from some really exciting dream. It feels so real, and I forgot completely at this point. I'm not trying to remember. It doesn't matter. It just made me so motivated, and I just can't wait to get up and run, you know, and start my new day. So, yeah, I got up at three thirty. I believe, yeah, three thirty. I left home at three forty-five. Yeah, you hear me right, three forty-five. People were still hanging out on the streets by the, you know, KTV and restaurants, and yeah, a lot of people haven't slept yet. But I have already started my day, and I was running. I don't feel lonely, although I was alone. But I felt so fired up. I just believe that I'm doing the things that I feel the most passionate about, and I love my life every second, like every breath I take. It's just so awesome. Okay. I'm not exaggerating. I'm just really trying to help more people to understand. It is so important to actually acknowledge the blessings in life, such as the free air. Okay, that is a true blessing. Think about it. Someday, if we lose the fresh air and everybody needs to put on some kind of Special mask to filter the air, and we can't even breathe with our own nose. Think about that. What kind of life we're gonna live? Yeah. Again, I'm not trying to be a environmentalist, trying to you know propagate <laughs> propaganda about environmental、uh, protection stuff like that. I'm just trying to bring more gratitude. To my audience, excuse me. Yeah.、Um, again, this is really more like a self-talk. So I don't really try to, you know, be so serious and formal. You know. So that's why I would scratch my、um, eyes, and sometimes I would not look at the camera because you know, this is. Just natural to me. When I think, when I talk to myself, I don't necessarily look at one particular spot, but it would definitely help my audience to focus on my talking if I look at camera directly. Yeah, just like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> anyway, I just wanna, you know, say that I had a really awesome. Morning and yesterday I had a really awesome day. I have recorded a few videos and I have shared、um, what happened yesterday, but I just want to repeat here. So I discovered a new, really new. I mean, a really cool cafe yesterday in Changsha. The name was Vikaming Coffee, and it's near the Furong Square. So not、uh, in the Wuyi Square area, but not too far away from the Wuyi Square. It was、um, in a Shimao building. 
I don't know if there's a English name to that building, but Shimao Guangchang. That is, I think Shimao Dasha. Maybe I'm not sure. And oh, World Expo, something like that. World Trade, maybe I'm not sure. But anyway, the coffee shop was on the first floor, and the location was pretty awesome. Just the parking.、Um, I would need to find a better parking where I can park with cheaper price. I paid forty bucks for just three hours. I think almost five,、uh, four hours, almost four hours, three hours and fifty some minutes. I parked there yesterday. I paid forty bucks for just the parking. It was, I mean, a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. And、uh, the coffee was really good, and the food was really good. There was a few、uh, on the menu. I definitely need to go back and. Try them, you know, and I really like the vibe there. They were playing some, I think, kind of like fashion、um, show on the wall with the projector, and the ceiling was insanely tall. It was like really spacious. The space was bright and spacious. I love that. And the table was huge. I can put all my stuff, my bags, my camera bags, my computers, my other stuff, water, coffee, other stuff. Yeah, books. So, yeah. And there's a, a socket in the back. Is that the right word? Like where I can charge my laptop and yeah. And the bathroom is right in the corner. It's like, you know, right there. So, I love there. I love being there, working there, reading, recording videos. So I am definitely going back there. Vicomin Coffee, not a sponsored video, but I really wish they can be there for a long time. They could even open one here in Shangtan City, if that. Would be true, then <laughs> it would be even awesome. I mean, I I'm really fine with Starbucks. I love being Starbucks, but Starbucks coffee it's a little bit expensive. And、uh, I mean, I don't drink coffee every day, but I just wish、uh, they can lower the price a little bit. Although they sell pretty much the same price in other countries, right? Um, there's no reason for them to do it, I guess. Okay, and then I got my camera fixed. I got it fixed for free. Actually, the repairman did not charge me anything because I have been there a couple times, and I would very likely go there again. So he's being really nice, and yeah.、Um, The drive was very very smooth. I played myself some techno music for the first time because I was listening to this podcast by Lex Friedman, and he talked with Grimes, who is a singer producer, and also I believe he she is the mother of one of the Elon Musk son, and. Yeah, so I really enjoyed their conversation, and she brought up she liked techno a lot, and that just made me interested. And yeah, and also another really important point that she shared is that as a musician, they have to keep pushing themselves by listening to different musics in. Different genres, they have to constantly be open-minded and have a very, you know,、um, kind of like you gotta be open with your taste of music or just work. Like you want to be upgraded. <laughs> I don't know. Is that the right word?、Um, yeah. So if you want to keep up with the trends, 
Or maybe that's not the best way to put it. Maybe you should say, I should say,、uh, if you want to be a current and relevant for as long as possible, then you need to be open minded, just like Liu Wen. He says in one of his videos, I mean, interviews as well, that he is very open. About new music, he likes all kinds of music. He is very I need to think about that word tolerant, no,、um, acceptant, accepted, acceptive, maybe, acceptive, accepting, maybe, yeah, like accepting new things more easily. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. You have to accept new things. And so you would be exposed to new things. You have to challenge yourself to at least try to feel why a u d i e n c e would like this kind of new stuff. Then you would evolve as well. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, as a content creator, I definitely need to have that quality. I have to constantly expose myself to new th- stuff so I can talk about them, I can share with my audience, I can help more people. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I got back home around five.、Uh, I uploaded the video I worked on in the morning. It was a reading aloud book video. And yeah, so it was good. It was a good time. And I watched some friends while I had dinner again. I enjoyed the few episodes I watched. Yeah, I actually have never watched too much friends before. When I was in high school, everybody was talking about it how it can improve your listening. By just watching it and speaking skills would improve as well. But I didn't watch that. I was not too interested in themes like that. Like I would prefer watching some kind of documentaries like the US or maybe you say the US. I like that documentary a lot. I mean, it was not a documentary, it was more like a show, a more like a TV series. But it was、uh, about the、uh, slavery and the Civil War and stuff like that. Yeah, US history. That was one of my favorite topics and subjects in high school. Anyway, okay, I have talked a lot because I just feel like I got so much I want to at least try to express. If I don't try, then it will be wasted. Kind of like I would not think about them any longer. I would just forget them and I would just think them in my head and never express them. But by talking and sharing them, I can, you know, at least share my life and also improve my expression. Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your interest in my life. Okay. I hope you have a great life and see you guys in the next video. Bye.